Psyche is an M-type asteroid. M stands for metallic. The minerals contained in asteroid Psyche are said to be worth 700 quintillion dollars. Asteroid 16 Psyche orbits the Sun in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It's not the biggest, 140 miles in diameter, about the distance between Los Angeles and San Diego. It's certainly not the most beautiful one, and is one out of millions of asteroids in the belt. So, what's so special about this rock? Well, it contains a mother load of metals, such as gold, iron, and nickel. Psyche is an M-type asteroid. M stands for metallic. The minerals contained in asteroid Psyche are said to be worth 700 quintillion dollars, enough to give everyone on Earth nearly a hundred billion dollars. Yay! We're all gonna be rich, right? Not really. In the near future, humans will likely mine these asteroids for metals, but the problem is once those metals start hitting the market, the influx of supply will drive their prices into the ground, meaning these metals will no longer be precious because they will no longer be scarce. NASA has already planned a mission to this precious world. It's called the Psyche Mission, and includes an orbiter that's intended to study the origin of planetary cores. Psyche Asteroid appears to be the exposed nickel-iron core of an early planet. Terrestrial planets such as Earth have metallic cores, but since we can't see or measure Earth's core directly, Psyche will help us understand the violent history of collisions and accretion that created terrestrial planets. It was planned for a launch in 2022, but after software delays, NASA postponed its launch to July 2023. The launch opportunities in 2023 and 2024 would allow the spacecraft to reach Psyche sometime in 2029 or 2030. The mission is estimated to cost $985 million. This includes expenses for the launch on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket and operating costs for the cruise to Psyche. According to NASA, gold is a vital strategic resource in space. Many satellites carry gold-coated mylar sheets to protect them from solar heat. Gold is also included in an astronaut's helmet visor which helps deflect solar radiation. And then satellite microelectronics that send data around the world rely on gold components to ensure reliable, corrosion-resistant, and static-free performance. Gold is very abundant in the solar system, but not just gold. S-type asteroids, for example, contain numerous precious metals, including gold, platinum, rhodium, nickel, and cobalt. Also, the sun's spectrum shows that about six ten billionths of its mass consists of atoms of gold. In layman's terms, that's 2.5 trillion tons of gold, enough to fill Earth's oceans and more. Even the moon has gold. In 2009, a NASA rocket slammed into the moon. When a second spacecraft studied the blast, it revealed that the lunar surface contains gold, silver, and mercury. You see, our solar system is a rich place and very worth visiting. But where did all the universe's gold come from? Just like most heavy metals, gold is forged inside stars through nuclear fusion. As that saying goes, we're all stardust. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.